Our objectives for this lesson are the following. 1. Define the logarithmic expression. And 2. Distinguish logarithmic function, logarithmic equation, and logarithmic inequality. So what is a logarithmic expression? It is an expression of the form the logarithm of x to the base b, where b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. It is a mathematical expression consisting of a logarithm. Here are some examples. So you have log. Lone is a natural logarithm. Log, log, and log. Next, let us examine the basis. One-fourth is greater than zero. Natural logarithm is a logarithm whose base is e. And e is greater than zero. It is approximately equal to 2.71828. 0.5 is greater than 0, a square root of 3 is greater than 0, and if you do not have a base, it means it is 10. This is common logarithm. So these are logarithmic expressions. Let's have logarithmic function. It is a function involving logarithmic expression that shows a relationship between the independent variable x and dependent variable y or f of x or g of x. It is a function of the form f of x is equal to the logarithm of x to the base b, where again b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1. Here are some examples. Three things that you have to remember. First, make sure that it is a logarithmic expression. Second, there should be y, g of x, or f of x, or any name of a function. And third, there should be an equal sign. So these are logarithmic functions. Next one, logarithmic equation. It is an equation involving logarithms. An equation in which one or both sides involve a logarithm. Two things that you have to remember. Of course, it should be a logarithmic expression. So there should be log in there. And another one is there is an equal sign. So these are logarithmic equations. Last one, logarithmic inequality. It is an inequality involving logarithms. An inequality in which one or both sides involve a logarithm. Here are some examples. Two things that you have to remember, of course, make sure that it is a logarithmic expression, so it contains log. And the next one is it uses inequality symbols. So here, only one side has a logarithmic expression. In here, both sides. And this one is what we call compound inequality. So these are logarithmic inequalities. Determine whether the following is logarithmic function, logarithmic equation, logarithmic inequality, or not a logarithmic expression. First one. So we have log here, and we have inequality symbol. Therefore, this is logarithmic inequality. Another one. We have a log, and then we have an equal sign. So this is a logarithmic equation. Next one. So I have here both sides that are logarithmic expressions and an equal sign. So this is a logarithmic equation. Another one, one side that is a logarithmic expression, g of x and an equal sign. So this is a logarithmic function. Last one, both sides that are logarithmic expressions and an inequality symbol. So this is a logarithmic inequality. Now, let us check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Here are the answers. For number one, you have a logarithmic expression and an inequality symbol. So this is a logarithmic inequality. Number two, a logarithmic expression and an equal sign. So this is a logarithmic equation. Number three, a logarithmic expression, f of x and an equal sign. So this is a logarithmic function. Number four, both sides are logarithmic expressions and an inequality symbol. So this is a logarithmic inequality.
And last one, I have f of x equals sine, but there is no log here. Therefore, this is not a logarithmic expression. Gets?